Hello. It is such a lovely day today. It is currently 7.09. I just watched the sunrise. Also, there are so many clouds out, so if the lighting fluctuates, um, my dearest apologies for that. It's just nature doing its thing. I think it's so easy to take for granted the fact that I live so close to a beach. Usually when we have things in abundance where things are pretty easy for us to get, we kind of tend to forget that other people don't have access to this kind of stuff. Like, some people have never been to a beach before in their life. And some people have never had the opportunity to watch the sunrise. A lot of people probably have never been on the beach <laughs> during a sunrise. So I am very grateful for the opportunity to just sit out here and listen to the waves and the birds and just feel the sun on my skin. <laughs> I have decided to challenge myself to wake up at 5 a.m. for this entire week because one, I start school next week, which is probably the same week or day that you'll see this video, and I need to get into the habit of waking up early. I don't know what time my bus is coming, but I know it's gonna be very, very, very early. <laughs> And two, just to use more time in my day because when I wake up later, even though recently I've been waking up at 8 in the morning, when I wake up later, I have less time in the day and why not use all of the day? I have seen the first light of the morning, so now I feel so much more productive i feel like i have so much time on my hands because i've watched the process of the sun rising into the sky i've seen the process of it going from twilight question mark is that is that the term dawn i don't know i've seen the process of it going from dawn to day and that is pretty cool i mean if that shouldn't motivate me i don't know what will um <laughs> i will also be trying to lower my screen time because that was one of my goals that i wrote in my journal for august along with waking up at five and trying to reduce my screen time I also have to read A Thousand Splendid Sons for AP Literature because it was my summer assignment and I've been delaying doing it for quite a while. But that's three goals for this week. Let's put them on the screen, shall we? Number one, wake up at 5 a.m. Number two, reduce the screen time. And number three, finish my AP assignment, which is to read A Thousand Splendid Sons. I think I've been out here for almost, I've been out here for an hour. Well, I've been at the beach for an hour. I've been outside my house in two hours. So I think I'm going to walk back. Oh, by the time I get home, it'll probably be eight o'clock and that's when I would usually wake up anyway. So, we're gonna start our day. You know what? I got knee deep and that's fine, but it is a way too cold. <laughs>
so there's a thunderstorm this is like the perfect sleeping weather however i woke up because of the thunder <laughs> um so maybe that's my sign Sometimes he gets up and do something. It's dangerous outside. But then like my mom, like even today when I went to completed my hour <laughs> I'm at chapter 5 I guess you could say chapter 5 how many chapters does this thing have 51 great great This wall has not been blank in so long, it feels so weird, but, um, I may or may not put all of it of, uh, taking the drywall from its home. I'll try to figure out how to take care of these, but I have a new blank slate, I guess you could say. Forcing like you know those brick and mortar business to I do already have dry areas markers at home, but these tiny ones would be nice, and also an eraser or. I could get the cleaning cloth because it takes up a lot less space than a regular um, thing. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's these. These correction tapes. Oh, that's ours 
already? <laughs> That's crazy. I'm recording this on my phone because little baby camera is dead from being out and about all day. But I got quite a bit of stuff today from shopping. Let's angle it so I look a little bit better. Still a little dark on this side, but whatever. Um, I got quite a bit of things today, but we're not going to expose what's in that. I have yet to read my one hour of my book, so we're going to do that before the night ends as well. But I got some food from Sarku, as you would have seen in the clip earlier, so I'm going to eat that. Also, the bare wall. I feel like this wall has not been empty in so long. It feels, <laughs> it feels so weird that it's empty. Um, anyway. Yeah. Luscious flowing hair, and now I have cornrows. Long story short, the hair just was not the vibe because it got tangled very easily and would not, it did not want to stay in my hair. It was very silky. So now we have cornrows. Um, definitely wasn't the vibe I was going for. I'm not the type of person who really likes going rose. They may be like, bald. She's bald! She's bald and she's torturing people with hair. That's, that's how I feel right now. <laughs> I was planning to go out to have a solo date, but now the whole vibe of the outfit has to change because the hair. I am going to look for a new outfit now. If you watch the DJI unboxing video, there's a clip in the test vlog where I mentioned this specific ad on Spotify of this movie called Afraid. I thought the marketing for the movie was so good that I actually wanted to go see it, so I went to the movies. Here's the little interesting part. I don't watch scary movies. This was a scary movie. What possessed me to go see this by myself, I don't know, but 
long story short halfway through the movie when the crazy stuff started i was out i was not gonna sit there and watch the little ai robot start tweaking out that was it for me one hour that i did actually watch was pretty good it's a good movie i'm just not gonna watch it <laughs> just finished putting away the laundry I feel so refreshed I randomly just got up to cleaning earlier today and then did the laundry and then kind of just vibed until now there is quite a bit going on the desk at the moment I always feel bad for saying that because there really isn't that much going on on my desk it's just a wrap my book and annotation tabs and some coins i don't know if you can see the coins on my phone but like it just feels cluttered i hate when there's like too much going on on my desk at once but i am in a little bit of a crafty mood which makes having this absolutely perfect i've only used this once and it's when i hung out with rosie I am not the biggest fan of clay, especially using it in mixed media. I just did not like how it did not morph how I wanted it to morph. It did not make any sense because I was the one that was morphing it. But considered that I have almost all the time in the world, I'm just going to sit down and do a little something. I found the cutest um little <laughs> um clay artwork earlier hold on let me see if i can find it it's adorable it's very me if you are friends with me you know i'll use this annoying hold on you will know i use this annoying cat sticker the all the time and so when i fold this i was like oh, it's perfect it's literally me i may or may not be making it as a gift or keeping it for myself granted 
I don't know what I would do with it if I did keep it because if you see the current vibe compared to how it was before I'm getting rid of things instead of adding more to my space but I kind of want to make it I kind of want to make it an alternative is to start putting the annotations in my AP lit book however if you are the type of person who keeps remotes or volumes at an even number doesn't like starting tasks until the beginning of the day week or month then you will totally get why i'm not starting that tonight it's just a task that deserves a new day and we are currently 21 hours into the day so Um, this is supposed to look like a a cheese question mark. <laughs> I don't know. It's like supposed to be one of those really thin slices of cheese. I don't know how well I'm doing right now, but it's the thought that counts. Am I smart for using a tablespoon? <laughs> A tablespoon to make the little the little hey would you not things I don't think I made this big enough but I just asked Rosie um, how many colors she uses when she paints let's hope it's not like more than five cuz I don't even think this can hold five to be so for real but it's the thought that counts she tries to convince herself yo I could make this into a pizza though. yo it can only hold four no no we'll make it whole five Pepe. 